In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Prepare ourselves, celebrate sacred mysteries. Let's call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God of mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, Keep safe from those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones, living in Lida. There he found a man named Aeneas, and he had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once. And all the inhabitants of Lida and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Juppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he returned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Juba, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. How shall I make a return to the Lord 
for all the good He has done for me. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all His people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? Please stand. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After hearing this, many of Jesus' followers said, This language is very hard. Who can accept it? Jesus was aware that his disciples were murmuring about this, and so he said to them, Does this offend you? Then how will you react when you see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, not the flesh. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. But among you, there are some who do not believe. From the beginning, Jesus knew who would betray him. And so he added, as I have told you, no one can come to me unless it is granted by my Father. After this, many disciples withdrew and no longer followed him. Jesus said to the twelve, Will you also go away? Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We now believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Say good morning to each other. Katabi nyo. Nandito tayo sa harap ng Blessed Sacrament. Dapat wala tayong alitan. Pag meron tayong mga bagay na hindi natin may may tapon, may labas, mahirap magdasal, ha? Mahirap magdasal. We have to be careful with this, with our attitude of our souls. Ang tanong ngayon, buhat sa first reading, 
Bakit tayo matatakot sa multo? Bakit tayo natakot pag may bagong namatay sa pamilya? Tayo'y takot ang takot, lalo na pagkalibing. Mga ilang araw pa lang. Tabi-tabi na ang ating tulog. At mahirap matulog daw kasi merong umalis. Sa first reading of the Acts, Sinasabi ang unang katotohanan na mangyayari sa ating lahat. Lahat ng bagay may katapusan. Pati tayo matatapos dito sa mundo. Nandito tayo sa mundo only for a short while. Sandali lang. Ano ang leksyon doon? Huwag tayong sakim. Huwag tayong sakim. Kasi eh, pag nililibing tayo, pinapasok tayo sa kabaong, wala tayong dala. Wala. Kung minsan sinisilip ko ang patay, yung iba may sapatos pa, yung iba, wala na. Mayroon bang sapato sa malamig eh. Matigas na yan. Pero yan ang katotohanan, unang katotohanan na sinabi sa Acts of the Apostles first reading. Lahat may katapusan. Kaya huwag tayo magyabang. Matatapos din yan. Maski manalo ka sa eleksyon, Maski maubos ang pera mo sa kakabigay sa tao, sinuhulan mo lahat, matatapos din yan. Pangalawang katotohanan, ang buhay natin ay hindi matatapos. Kung may katapusan man dito sa mundo, Itutuloy yan sa kabilang mundo. Itutuloy yan. Ibig sabihin, para tayong may report card pag tayo ay nag-aaral, may report card na ibibigay, papakita natin sa ating nanay kung anong grado natin sa reading, sa mathematics, sa behavior. Meron tayong report card na dala-dala yan. At tayo mismo, tayo rin ang nagsusulat kung ano ang ating ginagawa. Kasi hindi natin maluloko ang ating sarili. Lalabas uli yan. Kaya ang leksyon dyan, Be honest. Basi gaano mong itago ang iyong kalokohan, lalabas din yan. Basi gaano kang bubulong sa chismis, kita mo kung gusto-gusto natin ang chismis, kita mo, kita mo, andyan na naman, andyan na naman. Nagyayabang na naman sa kanyang bag. Kasi gaano ang pagbulong natin? Nakalista yan. Pagbabayaran yan. Ibig sabihin, dito sa mundo, nakalista lahat. Kung maganda ang ginawa, nakalista yun. Kung hindi maayos, nakalista rin. So pagkakyat natin sa kabilang buhay, dala-dala natin yung papeles na yan. Bibigay natin sa taas.
Dito sa Gospel ni John, may mga pananalita na ayaw natin marinig. Nagagalit tayo. Mga salitang sinasabi, tinatawag natin nakakasakit. That is with reference to the Gospel of John. Nakakasakit. Masakit bang salita? And the Lord speaks that language today in the Gospel. At yung kanya mga disipulo na hindi talaga mahal siya ay nagsabi nagbubulong-bulungan sila. Mabuti pa siguro umalis na tayo rito. Wala tayong mapapala dito. Nagbubulong-bulungan ang mga peking disciples. Ito ang ating babantayan sa ating sarili. Gaano tayo kumbensido na tayo'y magsisimba? Gaano tayo kumbensido sa ating pinagdarasal? Bakit sinasabi natin to? Kasi alam ng Diyos lahat. Iniisip pa lang natin. Hindi pa natin ginagawa. Alam na niya, alam na niya kung anong gagawin natin. So, huwag na tayong magsinungaling. Huwag na tayong magmaang-maangan sa isa't isa. There will always come the time when ang tunay natin pagkatao ay malalaman ng iba. Walang sikreto sa buhay natin. Maski gaano tayong magtago ng ating ginagawa. Ano ang ating dapat gawin? Bantayan natin unang-una ang pinakamataas na dasal. The Holy Eucharist dito sa Misa. The Mass is the perfect sacrifice, the perfect prayer, ang misa. Kaya swerte kayo. Wala kayo rito kung hindi kayo tinawag ng Diyos. Yan ang sinabi sa Gospel ni John. Lord, nandito kami kasi tinawag niyo kami. We are here because we were called by the Lord. Huling leksyon. Kung nandito man tayo, gaano tayo katagal, gaano katagal ang ating decision na manatili sa Kanya. Siyempre, hindi tayo perfecto. May at maya matatalison may at maya madudulas. May at maya magkakamali. God will understand that we are just human beings. Ang importante, we are truly sorry for our sins. So kung meron man Holy Eucharist, dito sa misa na dapat tanggapin natin pag wala tayong mabigat na kasalanan, pag may mabigat na kasalanan kayo, iwasan nyo magkumunyon. 
iwasan nyo para hindi dumoble ang iyong kasalanan. Mangumpisan muna. You be thankful na tinawag kayo dito ngayong umaga. Pasalamat sa Diyos. Always be thankful. Ang mabait na bata ay madali magpasalamat. Ang mga magulang, unang tinuturo sa kanila mga anak, o, oh, anong sasabihin mo? Sasabihin sa bata, Thank you. Yan ang unang leksyon sa mga bata. Hanggang pagtanda natin, paglaki natin, always think, Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Please stand. Christ brings us the words of eternal life, and we believe. With that faith, we, are, we can confidently beseech our Father in heaven to hear the prayers of this community. Ang sagot po natin, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may follow the Lord with all their heart, mind, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that God gives us the greatest proof of His love in the abiding presence of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in the assuring words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Pagdasal po natin na hindi natin nakakalimutan mangumpisal. Father, your Son has the words of life. We have nowhere to go but to Him. Our prayers are offered in His name who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness, you have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let's Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just our duty, our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death. And his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy therefore this gifts we praise that in down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks. Gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of hell as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partake of the body and blood of Christ, May be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Pagdasal natin mga namatay sa ating mga kadugo. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life 
may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. And grace will grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for the elections. Please kneel. 
Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let's pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of all the nations, politics is your gift to us and call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name. Help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeem the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from our illness, restore them to good health. Through intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, sought in is your knowledge of your goodness. They will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. To the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may this rosary's images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed, made holy. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks. Salamat po sa inyo. Thanks be to God.